What's going on YouTube? Captain here. Uh, I was challenged by Corey from KPA Aquatics to do the second YouTube challenge, which is a bunch of different questions and also nominating people. Um, so the first question was, is other than fish, what pets do you have? Cat. Lots of cat. Actually, not lots, but I have four cats. My wife decided that she wanted to, you know, get a few, so I let her. <laughs> you know, but I like them too. Uh, what other fish would I try? Really, I, I've I've got pretty pretty much the fish I want to try. I do like the arowana, but right now, not gonna do it. Um, I mean, I have two flower horns. If you've been fluent with my channel, you've seen both my flower horns. You see my 125 with the Africans in it. Um, I'm going to be upgrading a tank. I have a tank right now. It's a little bit small for the fish I have in it, but turquoise severum, uh, uh, albino oscar, and, and all, uh, uh, we have uh, black oscar and a green terror and a little electric blue jack Dempsey with a couple little plecos in it. Um, so, yeah, that one is going to get bigger, hopefully after Black Friday. Stay tuned for that. Uh, what days do I do my water changes? Sundays, because that's about the only day I have somebody here to help me do a water change, because doing water changes in a bunch of tanks in one day can be pretty, pretty rough. Um, why do I make YouTube videos? Just to make them. I mean, I started out doing it on gaming, and I mean, I never really got anywhere with it. wasn't looking to get anywhere, but I, you know... I just like doing it. I like being out there and, and, you know, this whole fish fam thing, Mac tube or yeah, Mac group, not Mac tube, Mac group, everybody around. I, I just, I have everything good to say. I mean, our Wednesday night live streams, I'm hoping to maybe start one up on Saturdays or maybe Sunday nights. Who knows? If, you know, anybody has a preference, hit me up on it. Uh, do you suff Do you think I have MTS? Yes. All I'm going to say with that, you've seen my walk around. I mean, you know, the smallest tank I have, I think, is two gallons going all the way up to 125 gallons. So I, I do have MTS, and I don't need any help with it. <laughs> uh, at once, how many tanks do I see myself owning? Well, right now, I think I'm at my max. Uh... I own, I don't have running, but I own about 12 to 13 tanks. Actually, maybe more now because I did get a smaller beta tank. So it's probably about 13 to 14 tanks. And that's as much as I want to own right now. Uh, how does my family and spouse feel about this hobby? Well, got a little confession to make and she's standing over here looking at me and my wife has got into this hobby now i think she's been bit by, by the fish bug too she herself has three tanks that she maintains they're all a little better tanks but you know what still tanks still have fish in them and uh who is my favorite not so known youtuber it's kind of hard to say i've got two different ones i mean i like south florida african cichlids uh george and um the Unconventional Aquatics, Anthony, I think it's Anthony. Um, they're both great channels, very, very informative. Both of them, I mean, have helped me out a little bit through this. And, you know, it's, I, I like them both. And, you know, I like watching both their channels. So what other hobbies do I have? Like I said in the beginning of the film, or yeah, the beginning of the film. This isn't a film. This is a recording. Uh, in the beginning of the recording that I like doing video games, I pretty much have a bunch of different uh, consoles, no PC yet, um, have PlayStation 4, again on PlayStation 4, my name is Captain3654, that's why I've kept the YouTube name, because that's what it was. Uh, if you think I should change it, leave some comments in there and let me know what you think I should change my thing to, my YouTube name to, and we might just change it. What is my biggest concern about the hobby? And I've heard it on a bunch of different YouTube, on a bunch of these different challenges, and I'm going to say it on my challenge too. People that are unaware of what happened or of what they're doing, what they're getting into. I myself made that mistake about a year and a half ago when I started this hobby up again and went full force. 
bought a 54 54 corner um, fish tank, had some tropical fish in it. They were nice looking, looked pretty good. They eventually, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I didn't do my water properly. I didn't do my filtration properly. I killed all the fish. Went back to the place. It was within 24 hours. Went back to the fish store that I bought them from. I wouldn't even call it a fish store. I called it a pet place. Went back to the pet place I bought the fish from. And they told me that my water was bad and that I should have tested it when I did have it tested the day before. So not going to a fish store and going to a pet place really ruined up the, you know ruined that tank for me which then i proceeded to you know talk to a few friends found a nice fish place started working on the african cichlids went in there and said hey got a 54 corner what can i do they threw a few uh africans at me and said hey you can have these in there but that's it after seeing about four or five of them in the tank i went you know what I need more. Proceeded to buy a 75 and actually did the research and then started to go further. So if somebody is really, my words would be, if somebody's really getting ready to go into this hobby, do your research before you buy the fish and put the fish in a tank. Make sure you're not putting a flower horn in a 10-gallon tank. Just because they're this big right now doesn't mean they're going to stay this big. As you all have seen on my videos with Bubba, Play time with Bubba, play time with the flower horn. He is about eight inches now. If I would have kept him when I bought him at four inches and put him in a 20 gallon tank, he would have made it. You know, and I knew exactly what I was doing with him. I had him in a 65 and went, you know what? Time to upgrade. Bubba got an upgrade to a 75 because I got it cheap. And, well, not because I got it cheap, I bought it cheap. I got it for him. And now he's happy, and him and I have a great, great friendship, which I, sounds weird, but he is, you know, he's like my underwater puppy is what he is. A lot of people call him my underwater dog. If you've been on the live streams, you've heard it been related to it, Bubba related to that. Um, now up to the nominations. Last time I did the nominations, I think maybe one person out of everybody that I nominated went for it. Uh, so this time I'm going to try it again. Electric Water, uh, Psychedelic Babe. I haven't really talked to you much. I've seen some of your videos. I think they're pretty cool. I want to see your YouTube or your uh, YouTube challenge. So I'm challenging Psychedelic Babe, Electric Water. The third one, um, really, it's I don't think you've done it yet, George. So South Florida, coming for you too. I'm challenging you as well. So... Thank you for the time. Hopefully, you know, it's it's been a little bit. And, yeah, let's see. Uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. More videos to come. Thank you.